Understanding Post-Virginity Bleeding Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic that often comes with a lot of questions and maybe even a little worry, bleeding after losing virginity. This is a normal part of the experience for some, but when does it become a cause for concern? Let's delve deeper. What causes bleeding after losing virginity? Bleeding after sexual intercourse for the first time is often due to the rupture of the hymen. The hymen is a thin piece of tissue that may partially cover the vaginal opening. During sexual intercourse, this tissue can tear and cause minor bleeding. However, not everyone has a hymen, and for those who do, it can be stretched or torn during activities other than intercourse, such as tampon use or sports. Hence, bleeding is not an accurate or reliable indicator of virginity. Is it normal to bleed for more than a week? Generally, bleeding after losing your virginity should be minor and temporary. A few hours or up to a couple of days is typical, and the bleeding is often light. If bleeding continues for more than a week, or is heavy, it's not considered normal and you should seek medical advice. This prolonged bleeding could be due to a number of reasons such as vaginal tears, infections, or certain medical conditions. Only a healthcare professional can accurately diagnose and treat these conditions. When should you seek medical attention? You should seek medical attention if the bleeding continues for more than a week, the bleeding is heavy, you're in severe pain, you're feeling faint or dizzy remember, it's important to not ignore these symptoms as they could indicate a more serious condition. In conclusion, while it's normal for some people to bleed after their first sexual experience, the bleeding should not last for more than a few days. If you are experiencing heavy or prolonged bleeding, severe pain, dizziness, or faintness, it's crucial to get in touch with a healthcare provider as soon as possible. Your health and comfort are important, so don't hesitate to ask for help or advice when you need it. We hope this video has helped you understand this issue a little better. Take care.